back. Today we're going to Disneyland for the first weekend of the Disney 100 year celebration. The celebration kicked off yesterday. We weren't able to make it, but we're here today to uh, check out everything new, see some new food, see the new shows. There's new fireworks, new world of color, new new decorations everywhere. We've We've kind of seen the monorail go by a little bit. We, have, we haven't really seen it fully, but it's got a new wrap on it to check out. Right. I'm, so, I'm excited. And, and the first thing that we noticed is this new music in the Esplanade. Yep. And I'm loving it. There's Country Bears music. Just, oh, I'm loving, I'm loving this vibe. Just Con come, Country come. Bears, Space Mountain. I don't even know. It's, 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 it's awesome I love it so I'm really excited let's go take a look there it is that's for iridescent monorail you were saying yesterday before we actually had a chance to see it in person from what you'd seen on video you didn't really care for it what do you think seeing it in person it's actually not that bad I really like it yeah I like it. Oh, I like it. How it gleams in the sun. I think that's a really cool wrap. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's go check out more. <laughs> oh, isn't that adorable? They have Mickey statue. Platinum? Yeah. Yeah. Platinum statue. I wonder if, like, those statues at Walt Disney World, if, those sta if the statue interacts with the magic bands. We forgot our magic bands today. I thought I had everything packed. We're gonna have to find out if the statue interacts with the magic bands. I don't think that, it is does. Is that Mickey or is that Minnie? It's Mickey, right? That's Mickey. Okay. Actually, no, that's... that's yeah, yeah, that's Mickey. Yeah, he's got the pants. Okay. Yeah. We're on our way down Main Street and I had to stop in the Emporium. I had to make Ben stop because there is especially one thing from the new hundred year collection that I was looking at and it's these ears. I don't really like all the other ones but these I really like and I hadn't really seen them up close. Those are really cute. I might have to get these. I don't wear a lot of ears but these they have a lot of attractions on them. I might have to get them. I'm gonna have to see how much these are. There's a whole wall of the ears over there and Ben says that there's no price on them. We like this shirt too, but it's too bad it's white. And there's this sweatshirt over there that we like. But I don't think I'm gonna get that now. But I definitely want these ears and then find out how much they are. That pillow right there is the other thing from that line that I think that I really want. I'm not gonna get it today. But look at that. I don't think we know how much the pillow is either. Can you see if it has a price on that at least? Do we know? Probably not. Oh, those are all the warning tags, aren't they? Karen Hand. Oh, there's a tag on there. $49.99. Okay, not today, but eventually I would like to get that. I do like it. Yours ended up being $27. I paid mobile pay, but now apparently there's still a line. Get out of here. You have to show them your barcode. There's a better look at some more of the merch for the 100 in the window here outside the Emporium. And I think that we both agreed that we want Chip and Dale plushie over there, right? Yes. Eventually we want to get them. Yes, we, do. we are big Chip and Dale fans. And I do like this Mickey figurine over here. What do you think of that Mickey figurine? I do like that. And mini. There's a mini too. I like those. That's an old mini too. Yeah. The only problem I have is that for some reason, I don't know why, but I just feel like Chip and Dylan in their outfits that they've been given, they look like little waiters. <laughs> the others don't, they look all dapper. They, you know, and Mickey over here, he's got pants. He's got a full outfit going on. But Chip and Dale, I don't know, they look like they're cater waiters. They're like waiters at some banquet. They're gonna serve everybody for the hungry. 
sure they do have a long stick. Here's a choir from the Emporium. And now we are over here in Frontierland doing something that we've never been able to do. We usually don't hear here early enough to get this like famous, popular. I'm trying to vlog here. Well, we can go on it. We're over here to get the famous chimichanga from this part right here by the Columbia and over across from Bend Mountain and Ben here is going to try it. We're going to split one here. It comes with green salsa too and we, I didn't get any because I don't think either one of us. Ben doesn't like green salsa and I don't really want salsa right now. My stomach. First bite, mostly uh, tortilla. Okay. Okay. Give it another Second bite is going to be mostly tortilla because okay, the end. Okay, thoughts? I'm still chewing, but it's not bad. Okay. And so it's, I'm guessing egg, potato. Yeah, that's what I've, Anything that's else? What I've got so far. That's all you got so far, yeah. but not bad? No. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I do. I see a lot of potato and egg over in here. Potato yeah. over here. I wonder if there's any meat in it. Mm. Okay. Yes, it. there's some bacon right bacon. there. Bacon. Okay, so it's bacon, potato, and egg. The bacon wasn't very good. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah. It's not crispy. But okay. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to try it. And yeah, I see like um, the potato is like little squares of breakfast potato, and I see the egg. We're gonna try it. And so it tastes like there's cheese in there too. Yeah, there's cheese. That's good. The egg and potato with the cheese is good. I'm not sure because I don't have any of the bacon. I'm not sure how that is. You said it's not very good, but that right there, that bite was good. Yeah, I see why there's a line for that. The egg and the tortilla are pretty good. It's and it's a fried tortilla because it's the chimichanga. Yeah. Mm. Can't go wrong with a fried tortilla. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with fried anything. I recommend it. Mm -hmm. Definitely a spot to come if you get here early enough because they sell it really fast. Five out of five? Definitely five out of five. Yeah. Okay, more than halfway through and Ben made a discovery that it's actually, there's sausage in there. So what I think he thought was bacon was probably like a hard piece of um, potato. But that's kind of like chintzy that they're, like you have to almost eat the whole thing to get down to the bottom where the sausage is. See, two, piece, know, even, two pieces Yeah, of to sausage. even know that that's what it is. Yeah. But I, do, I mean, I like it, but still, that's kind of, I mean, that's my complaint about this is that there's just a little bit of sausage. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And so I just tried it with the sausage too. And what were you saying? And I agree. Sausage makes it. It does because it adds that little sausage spice to it. Yep. The seasoning. Other than that, it's it's bland. Not not horrible. No. But bland. No. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just I mean that's because we didn't have it with the salsa, but we don't really like yeah. green salsa. But um, yeah, it's really good if they just had more sausage in it. Yep. This is why you have to get here really early for this breakfast chimichanga because look at this line. They sell out really fast. If you don't get here right when the park opens and head, head right over here, they're gone. Every time we've tried it, we never can get here in time. Okay, we're making discovery after discovery with this burrito, <laughs> as Ben just said, because now there's ham in it. I mean, so maybe that is the, the bacon you were talking yeah. about, a big, a thick piece of this. Yeah. I can't tell whether this is bacon or, or, or uh, right. ham. Because if it is bacon, like you said a while ago, it's not very crispy. No. So it could be ham. It's a shame this is all at the end. I had no idea this was all in here until you get like more than halfway through. We're over here at the, uh, basically the entrance, right after you get into the park. We're just kind of stationed over here looking for characters in their new outfits and we see Goofy over here. I mean, Goofy's outfit is so dapper with his coattails over there. Look at him with his full suit. And my complaint is, 
like I was saying when we were looking at the Chippendale plush, they have no pants and their little coats look like little cater waiters. It's, it's not, to me it's not as dapper as say what Goofy's wearing over here. I love this. I love his little iridescent hat. I just, I love it. I think Chippendale need to be a little bit more, a little more fancy. So, my question to you. Yeah. What is your problem with cartoon characters not wearing pants? It's, it's not... Goofy over there has this complete outfit ensemble thing going on. He's also a dog that walks on two legs and talks. And Chip and Dale are chipmunks that walk on two legs and talk. Uh-huh. So why don't they have the dignity of wearing a full <laughs> suit with nice pants, little trousers, or even like long coattails looking a little more fancy? Uh, okay, I see. It's, it's, it's all about dignity. Yes, dignity, <laughs> habitus. I, I think they're okay with not doing it. Have they been asked? Do we know? No. No, we don't know. Do we'll Donald, Donald How do you hasn't. feel about being pantsless over here while well, everybody else has these fancy suits? Donald hasn't worn pants in 80 years. Well, they gave, but they gave him like little fe feetsy covers, though. These little fancy ear. Just, I, I've seen pictures. We'll have to find it. Yeah, they're called spats. Spats, yes. Yes. Little feetsy covers. <laughs> they usually go on shoes, but since Donald doesn't wear shoes. <laughs> So you got, you got Chip and Dale over there just wearing their little shirts. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It needs to be a complete ensemble. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah. Why was Donald stomping? Okay, there's his little, his little footsie protectors, as I call them. Spats. They're Excuse called, me. Yeah, they are called spats. But he was stomping around here. Let me see if he's gonna do it again. I don't know. He's standing there. The line that looks like it's waiting for him. Look at he's like having a tantrum. He's like stomping or <laughs> something. Are you trying to figure out how to get out of here? I don't know what this is. He's very emphatic. Oh, he's getting a picture of somebody. But he was like stomping. We didn't get the 7 a.m. boarding group from Mickey and Minnie's, which is why we're over here at the entrance, kind of just uh, checking out all the decorations. Yep. It's really hard. I mean, we didn't have this much. I mean, it didn't seem as difficult. We had we had good luck on on Rise of the Resistance, is what I'm trying to say. We got on there pretty easily most times when we tried, and this, from what I've heard from other people too, yeah. nobody's getting on this thing. Like, I don't know who is getting a boarding group. Maybe it's because they're doing Lightning Lane too at the same time. Maybe. And they have less availability for the boarding groups. That's possible. I don't know, but we're gonna have to try again at one o'clock because we, we didn't get it. Good luck. Think? There's a better look at the Mickey statue for the 100. It all started with a mouse on there. Very platinum, I love it. And we have to go find the mini statue. I think it's over by, um, I, I think it's, off Main Street over by um, Fantasyland by like the Matterhorn from where I've seen in the picture. We're gonna have to go find it. We officially struck out for chance number two at Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway virtual queues. Yeah, that, that, it's a cluster. It's it's very difficult. It's, it's way more difficult than with Rise of the Resistance when that first opened. Yeah. And we're speculating that it's because right now that they also have the Lightning Lane available for Mickey and Minnie's, which they didn't have when Rise first opened. So, so yeah. There's less chances. Less slots for virtual queue yeah. people. And they want that that money from the from the uh, <laughs> the um, Lightning Lane fires, which um. We are we officially, yeah, we, we broke down and bought the lightning lane so that we can ride it today. Yeah. So in, in a little while, we'll uh, have our return time for that. You know, and, and it didn't even exist when uh, Rise of the Resistance opened. Yeah, so. it didn't. It came out after that. But sure enough, as soon as it became a thing, they added it to, yeah. to Rise. Immediately. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're, we're doing that. We broke down because we, we do want to ride it. Yeah. And who knows when we'll be able to write it if we didn't do that because it's really hard. Yeah. Once. 
probably months. months. Yeah. So, so we'll be doing that later today for you guys and sh taking you along, showing you. We've heard that the you don't get a, as good a view of the queue if you do the lightning lane because it's it's more of a straight shot to the front of the line. So you know you're whizzing by some of the details. So right. that's gonna be sad, right. but we'll see what we can see. Yeah. Yep. Stay tuned. While we're waiting for our uh, lightning lane return time for Mickey Minis, we stopped over at the Jolly Holiday and got a couple or three of the uh, 100 anniversary treats. We have the shortbread, the chocolate caramel shortbread. We have the lemon tea cake and the trifle, which I think has uh, cheesecake pieces and cake, like cho or no, chocolate, like cookie at the bottom there. It's not really, it doesn't really seem like a traditional trifle because it doesn't usually have cheesecake. Um, I think that Ben's only going to look probably like this one. But I love lemon curds. I, I think I'm going to like that. This one I'm not so sure about because it's not traditional. But we're going to give them a try. So why don't you dig in there and try at least the shortbread and see if you like it. Alright. Come on. It might need a knife because it's got caramel, so it might be oh, yeah. thick. So let's try with a knife. Oh. Somehow he had an ac happy accident with these because I accidentally ordered two of them. <laughs> so Ben might just get all of one, a whole one of those if he doesn't like anything else. Well, we'll see about this we'll first. See. Uh, I think he might like it. He looks either confused or like he likes it. I'm not sure. We're waiting. It's good. It's good? It's rich. Well, of course, it's got chocolate and caramel. But it's good. Good. So that's a one for one for you. That's, that's good. Mm -hmm. So first thing I'm noticing is I like these little decorations on here. I like the little pearls and the stars. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. Yeah. So we're going to cut into here. Oh, what's that? It wasn't that hard to cut through. The cookie just broke and it snapped, so that wasn't that bad. I'm not gonna... I see you devoured that whole one by yourself. So that's good that you liked it. Well, it wasn't hard. It was just three, three little pieces. Yeah. So I'm gonna just try a little piece. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good, right? That is good. And the chocolate's like a pudding consistency. Yeah. That's definitely good. I say the caramel makes it though. It does. It adds that little bit of extra something. Yeah. And it's not what I thought. I thought it was gonna be more like a like a thick chocolate, like. Yeah. You're, yeah. It was a lot more pudding like than like, I thought. Like you say, pudding. Yeah. But it's really good. I like it. I recommend it. Okay, so this is the lemon tea cake, and I'm taking off this little decorative chocolate. I'm trying it first so that I can tell Ben how lemony it is, or not lemony, I'm sure it probably is. It has lemon curd somewhere in here, and I love lemon curd. So we'll see. It's very lemony. <laughs> and the lemon curd is on top. It's like big, it's like in the top of it. I don't yeah. know if it's gonna be throughout, but it's definitely all in you there. See, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Okay, here Ben goes with his here we go. lemon cake. Let's we'll see, see if he lemon likes cake. it. Let's see. It's tart, lemon. I said. It's really tart. Very tart. Because it's got all that lemon curd right on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good, but not for me. 
Right. Because you're not a fruity lemon person. It's too much lemon. It's very refreshing though. Yeah. I liked it. I'll give you that. Yeah. So now this is the trifle. This is the one that I don't know whether either one of us is going to like it because I'm kind of questioning whether this is actually trifle. <laughs> because it's got, cheese, it's got cheesecake in it and so I don't know. But um, I'm going to take the decorative piece off. Trifle does not have cheesecake. Not any trifle that I've had, but we're going to see. I mean, I'm going to see if I can get down to all these layers here, or at least a few. Okay, I didn't get all the way down to the bottom, but there's this gray stuff. Oh, yeah, okay, so I did get a little bit of the cookie in there, so we'll see. Well, mm, I mean, it's really tart. It's definitely cheesecakey. Trying to get some of the berry. So it's cherry in there. I, for, I had forgotten what berry that is. I do like cherry cheesecake, um, but it's just kind of weird with the cookie and the cheesecake and the cherry. I mean, it's not really for me. No. I think I like the lemon the best, and then the shortbread, and then this. Yeah. I would definitely go for the lemon because I love, like I said, I love lemon curd. Uh -huh. But this is just kind of, kind of odd. Yeah, that's that's not for me. It's too too much lemon. I like lady fingers in my trifle, like that spongy cake layer in there mm -hmm. and that's just it's, it doesn't do that uh, anyway. i like lady fingers in my tiramisu yes yeah yeah uh so this is just kind of weird i don't know not for me no i have convinced well, ben to try the trifle it's just a lot of sweet and then yeah tart and it's not doesn't have a lot of consistency other than soft, mush, sweet. No, no for nope. you, dog. Nope. Yeah, it's a miss for me too. We finally found the mini statue, and Mickey's had the quote, it all started with the mouse, and here Minnie's says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And I just love, I love the iridescence. I love how it looks in the light. It has rainbow effect. I like them. And uh, I still don't know whether it works with the magic bands or not. I guess we'll have to bring our magic bands when we come next time and uh, find out. I don't think so because there would be a lot of people waving them, I'm sure. Yes. But that would be really cool if they did. They should. Yeah. So, Car, um... Yes? Yes? Is it cold? Oh no, not at all. I'm, no? I'm nice and toasty. Yeah. So what, you got three, three layers there? Oh yeah. Uh, and gloves. And gloves. Nice. Mm -hmm. So... I'm, I'm nice and warm. How about you? It's cold. Okay, I'm finally doing it. It's been a long wait, but now we're uh, going to ride Mickey Minnie's Highway Railway. Ben had to race ahead of me because it's a downhill slope and now it's an uphill, so he's got to get some momentum to get up this hill.
I got it. I got his chair. Okay. I got it. We're good. back at home finally mm -hmm. um we did leave earlier than we wanted to we left right after we went on uh mickey minnie's runaway we're all away yeah we wanted to stay for the new fireworks um wondrous journeys we are we are looking forward to seeing it eventually oh yeah um, definitely but it was really a struggle with getting in and out of the the ride yeah and uh Really took a lot of Ben. Hit my head and, twice. And so, um, I think we just wanted to go home and, and just decompress after that. And um, so, we have a lot of thoughts about the ride. Um, great ride. Oh. Great ride. Beautiful really ride. Really fun. But the accessibility of it, um, <clears throat> it's, just, it's just not practically disabled accessible. No. For a lot of reasons. And I think that it's just so much that we are going to have it as a separate video. Yeah. Um, to just go really in depth on what happened and, and, and our thoughts. So uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And um, make sure you hit the notification bell to hear about more adventures. And remember... Adventure is out there. <laughs>